Joe, congratulations. Another goal. Three in three home games. Uh, yeah, it feels good. Um, it's not saying probably I thought that that may have happened three home games ago, but it's obviously always nice to score. That that um, that feeling of scoring a goal is is something obviously that, that all footballers enjoy. Um, but as you know, as most of other footballers say too, the the win is more important. Um, and that winning feeling coming off the pitch, that winning feeling, no matter how it comes, is you know is, is, is a very good feeling. I guess as a right back, it's not your main priority. But have you been hoping or trying to add more goals to your game? Um, I mean, it's always something you hope to do uh, as a player, especially when you, you, you're sort of expected to to be in the box of set pieces, which I think is is um, the, you know the first and third goals have come just from from crosses in the box from uh, from dead balls. So it's um, so it's obviously you know it's it's, it's all our roles uh, on set pieces to, to cause some carnage and, and be in the right positions. Um, luckily tonight, Lines, he you know put a fantastic cross in the box, and and you know I didn't have to really move too much. It landed straight on my head and. Luckily, winning the corner. Yeah, you mentioned the delivery, which was superb, and also the winning goal from Chris Lines was fairly yeah, nice as well. Absolutely awesome goal, wasn't it? Um, you know, if, in front of the home fans, it's you know it's, it's some feeling for uh, for one of the lads to, to, to score like that. And uh, you know, quite late on, we've done it many times um, so far this season, and I know it's, it's, it's another time that we've done that, um, managed to win. Um, and you know, for Lines, he was you know a great goal, as, as I've said, and. You know, it'd be a great feeling for him for him to score that goal. Yeah, and I'm not sure what you're doing for the fans or Daryl Clark's blood pressure, but you're coming from behind once again, which certainly shows that the spirit in the team. Um, yeah, you know, it was it was it was quite obvious that, that uh, you know we, we had a slow start. It was it was something that we all sort of looked at each other on the pitch, and and you know, it's it's not through lack of effort or or, or anything like that. It was just the way the game was going. Um, no, but we're all very honest players, and you know we, we, we do try our best uh, at, at all times. So um, it's obviously another occasion that we've gone behind to begin with, but um, it's something that obviously has been well documented that, that we can come from behind. Um, and luckily, we've managed to do that again tonight. And full team effort, the substitutes were superb, particularly Byron Moore, a massive impact. Yeah, he's, he's some player, Byron, honestly, is in training. He, he shows some fantastic skill every day. Um, he's a real player's player. The, the, you know the lads. All the lads think he's absolutely brilliant. Um, and he showed obviously when he came on that you know he made my life easy to, to pass him the ball down the line and, and turned it into turned it into the winning goal. So um, you know great from from him to, to be able to do that. I'm sure he's really pleased with with his contribution and, and you know everybody else's as well. Yeah, it must be nice when you see him coming on because you know you have that outlet just up the touchline. Yeah, he's you know he's very comfortable on the ball as as are most of our forward thinking players. Um, so you can give him the ball in you know in areas where um, where he's under pressure because he, he, you know he's good enough to deal with that, um, and he showed whilst he was on tonight that um, you know the ability he has um, and contributed as as you say to, the, to that final goal, which is um, you know made everybody go home happy. And Daniel Ledbetter picked up another injury on the weekend, didn't he? Which is not nice for him. But in terms of you, do you view that as an opportunity to cement your spot at right back? Um, I think that's a. No, it's a, that's a difficult question because um, in this team, you know, we all buy into the fact that you're going to play some games and not play others. So, um, of course, I, I want to play every game, but at the same time, I understand that Leds is, you know, is, is a fantastic player um, and he's going to play his, you know, his fair share of games. Um, and on behalf of everyone, in, in, you know, all, all the players, we don't like to see any of the lads getting injured, um, particularly Leds. So, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously sad for Leds to, to have picked up an injury on the weekend. Um, you know, but he does his rehab properly, and, and hopefully he'll be back very quickly. Um, because, as you say, we all we're all moving in the same direction as a team, and it's you know it's important that we're all in it together. And uh, p talking of knocks, you have got a bit of a shiner above your <laughs> left eye, a few stitches in there already. I'm guessing it's not too serious because you played on anyway in the game. Um, yes, yeah, one of those things, isn't it? So sort of you, you you try and be as brave as possible and, and come back on with with uh, with a strapping on your head, which which might look worse than what it is. I think Sinks had one last week. Um, Smudge had one on his head that I think came off uh, in the end, but it's um, yeah, it's just just one of those things that you, you, you get on with and, and obviously try and see the game out for, for a win. Yeah, I was seeing on social media at halftime one of the fans had posted he's got a lampshade on his head for Adam Smith in goal with, with the bandage. <laughs> it was a good look. Uh, I suppose you'd rather not have to come from behind, but you're able to as players. From your opinion, a player's perspective, what is the reason that you do keep conceding goals? Is it an issue of concentration? Um, I'm not sure. It's it's. It's not something that we decide to do. Obviously, no, it's not something that that's that's sort of we, we plan on doing. Um, but what we are is uh, you know is, is very tough mentally as, as as a team. We can we can come from setbacks and obviously and, and, and turn them into positive results. 
like I say, it's not something that we set out to do from the start of the game tonight. Um, you know, as, as, as people were here would, would tell you, we, we, we started particularly slow, um, not through lack of effort, it was just, just was what it was, you know, it was, it, we, we were trying things and, and for whatever reason they weren't coming off and, and Rochdale were putting under us uh, a bit of pressure. Um, and obviously when, when they scored their goal, um, I wouldn't say it kick-started us in, into life, but, you know, as, as we touched on already, like we've, as a team, we, we can come back from, from that. It's not something that you think, oh, no, they've scored like this. It's, it's sort of like, right, they've scored, so come on, let's go. And, um, you know, we showed that tonight. We come out in the second half and, and started very positively. Sirk scores a, a great goal, which, um, in the circumstances, is a very difficult technique to keep that ball down where, where it was. It was, you know, it was, a, it was a really nice goal. And he's obviously scored a lot of them this season. He's a very important player. Um, and then from you know from there obviously the, the game has, has its twists and turns but like we've done a few times uh, this year and this season already we, we we've come out with a win. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you.